The family of a man who died after being kept in the Pasadena jail has filed a lawsuit tonight. They say their dad, Mark Oswald, pictured here, didn't get the proper medical attention he needed after he broke his leg. Channel 2's Jake Reiner spoke with family and with their lawyers, and we're also hearing the city of Pasadena's response to this lawsuit. Jake? Bill, simply what this family is contesting is that if Mark Oswald had received proper medical treatment in time, this could have been prevented, but as it turned out, it was too late. It makes me sick. What brought Dana Oswald from Chicago to Pasadena, Texas, was so her father could be heard. The abuse that he took in here in the Pasadena Police Department is horrific. Oswald and her team of lawyers say it started out as a Class C misdemeanor. Mark Oswald was drunk outside of Pasadena Walgreens last June, and when he got to the city jail, he ended up breaking his leg. If it were you or your loved one, you would be horrified if you saw the video. According to the lawsuit, the jail video shows Oswald was unable to figure out how to adjust his jail-issued suit in order to use the restroom. Consequently, he urinated on himself, slipped, and violently fell in his own urine and or blood. He writhed in pain for four hours. He was ignored by jail staff. That kind of thing just absolutely has to stop. The attorney representing the city of Pasadena maintained there was no wrongdoing, saying in part, the city is comfortable the evidence in this case will prove the constitutionality of its policies. Now, some of you might think, how could a broken leg lead to someone's death? Well, what the attorneys allege in this case is that the delayed response caused internal bleeding in Mark Oswald's leg, and he ended up dying at the hospital four days after he was brought there. We're live today in Pasadena. Jake Reiner, KPRC, Channel 2 News.